So the entire payment process has to be done there through that. Look, she's wearing a glove too. Wow. Glad to see we're not the only ones. I guess this is the new normal. All the parks are closed. You have to take your line up. Well, you have to wait in line to go into the grocery store. You have to pay for any kind of stuff at a convenience store through the little cash box they have. Squeaky, will you come on? And your kid, well, everybody's confined inside. I mean, it's not martial law yet, not like they have down in India or anything like that. It's not as bad as it is in New York, so it's just a bit of a lone time, I guess. And I think that in the future, it's going to be interesting because right now they're dealing with all the physical aspects of this disease. You know, in a month, they'll be dealing with all the mental aspects of this disease. All the loneliness and the people that have lost people and everything else. Which reminds me, I had this idea, I don't know what you think about it, but what if we were to create a race, a foot race, at the end of every March and call it the COVID-19K? And the money, like everyone would pay to join, it would be worldwide. Every city or major metro metropolitan area would have one. And the money raised from it would then go towards families who lost a healthcare worker due to this situation. And then maybe we could also take some excess, some of the, maybe we could also take some of the excess money and use that towards a scholarship. How oh, my dog's pooping. Anyway, where was I? So if there's any money left over, you can put that towards a scholarship for anyone that's pursuing, say, higher education. Uh, maybe make it for the sciences, life science, no, not life sciences, but hard sciences, or make it for, um, I don't know, anyone that's maybe a member of the healthcare community or had a family member. Just a thought, throwing that out there. Because if it is held every year and it's called the COVID-19 K, I think what would happen is that we would realize it's in the front of our memory. And then we wouldn't be stuck in a situation like this where we're trying to find enough ventilators and money and beds and everything because we'd always have a bit of a stockpile saved up. And it would just kind of force people to acknowledge that. Just a thought, you know, thinking out loud, since there's no one else here to talk to about it. 
or bounce ideas off, you're the lucky person who gets to listen to me ramble. All right, I'm gonna finish this dog walk. Well, that scared the hell of me when that went off. Yeah.